What's up guys, David here and welcome to the FitPro Daily. This week has been all about installing habits and building structures into your fitness business to really take it to the next level. And as it's a Friday, I wanted to give you an overview of everything we've covered so far this week, including our guest interviews, our top tips, our foundational skills, and so much more. But before we do dive into this week's overview, if you haven't already joined us inside our free group on Facebook, simply head over to Facebook, search FitPro Lead Gen with Dave, and come join in with extra guides, extra downloads, extra support, guest speakers, and so much more going in on inside the group. Simply click the link below or search on Facebook, FitPro Lead Gen with Dave. Okay, let's get started. Now, we started the week off in an interesting style by inviting Julie Clotty on to share her experience in reading one book. Now, the book she was referring to was this book here, Atomic Habits. If you can see, it's a little bit too bright. So she claimed she read this book, started implementing uh, some of the stuff, and it's made such a difference to her fitness business. Now, you can see from the way she's talking, she's really clear. She understands how habits work and she's really started to implement it. So if there's one thing to take away from Monday's uh, interview with Julie is definitely to start reading a little more books. Reading books, it literally has all the information in there to start improving and self-development on a certain topic. Now her one, she wanted to get better, started to wake up earlier, have more of a drive, not get home as tired. And she discovered, like we said, this Atomics Habit book. She read the book, started implementing some of the stuff that was explained in it. And it's made such a difference to her fitness business. Her fitness business is now thriving. So if there's one thing I would definitely say to consider from Monday's interview, it's definitely starting to start reading books, start implementing a few things and seeing what works with you, which then leads us into Tuesday. Once you started reading the book and take this book on habits, we then need to start implementing some of the stuff that we were talking about. And the first thing we talked about on Tuesday was really making sure we pay our bills on time, making it a habit that we take our taxes out, we take our VAT out, we take our wages out, we take all the key important necessary things out at the start of every week, at the start of every month, so you know when the time comes to pay these bills, to do what you need to do financially, you have the money there. And if you're not in a place where you're able to take money out to save for your tax on save for your VAT, that literally just show that maybe your outgoings is a lot greater than your income. And so you might need to cut back on a certain number of things to help move this forward. And then moving forward, as we looked on Tuesday, we then looked at crit or starting on making sure you get done your critical tasks every single morning. Now, these tasks could be making sure your inbox is always at zero, making sure you've replied to all client messages, make sure maybe you've done all your social media posts or you've created and written your daily emails. By making sure you've got your critical tasks done early in the day, almost the minute you wake up, you get them ticked off. They're not there festering in your mind thinking, oh, I need to get this done, I need to get this done, and the day goes by and things pop up and you keep putting them off. If you get them done first thing, you mark out your diary so you have nothing else in your way, you just get them done. It's going to make it real easy for you to make sure you've got these tasks done and then you can move on with the rest of your day. Then we moved into making sure then that you had enough time for your own personal development. So like we said at the start, Julie was reading one book. The book gave her all the insights, the knowledge, everything she needed to do to work on her habits. So if you can find time in your own day, it could be just once a week, it could be 20 minutes every day to read a book, watch some trainings, read some articles, reach out to some sort of mentor or some sort of coach to really help you, guide you and give you that time to develop on yourself, then that's a key importance there. While still focusing on yourself, we also talked about making sure you put a habit in once a week, daily to focus on yourself too, where you just relax and recover. Because yeah, we can all work 100 miles an hour, but when you're coaching your clients, you're telling them not to train every day. Have a little rest, recover, and then get back to it. So this is super key for you there. Now, when we move into Wednesday's video, we started to look at a slightly different habit, but this was a habit that we also need to be doing every day or every other day when it comes to managing your Facebook and your sales. 
So we looked at, uh, I think it was four different things, which was the cost per click. This is the amount of people that have clicked on your advert, which tells you if your advert was good or bad. We looked at the cost per lead, how many people have clicked through, submitted their details and become a qualified lead. How many people are sat in front of you for a consultation and then how many people actually bought your program. And out of those four, we said that focusing on number one, uh, number two, the cost per lead and number four, the cost per sale. This gives you a true indication of is your ad working really well and also um, how much it's costing you to make one sale. Once you know those two numbers, you know how quickly then you can scale your ads, your sales, your fitness business to get it to that number that you want to be at. So yeah, this week has been a little bit all action, but it all started off, like we say, we'll go back to it again, understanding and working on yourself. Julie took the time out, she read the book, wanted to work on her habits, and it's made such a difference in her own personal life and in her own fitness business. So consider it. Consider reading the book just once a month. Consider adding habits into your daily life and go back to have a look what the stuff Julie was talking about on Monday to really make this kind of work and start working on yourself. So I'm going to leave it there for this week. We covered a lot. So if you do want to go back and check out all the actual videos themselves, press pause now and go back and check those other videos. Also, if you haven't already joined us inside our free Facebook group, then head over to Facebook and simply search FitPro Lead Gen with Dave. We share a load more insights into the books that you should be reading, guides, downloads, tips, tricks, videos, guides, and so much more. Currently, I think we've got just over 2,000 FitPros from all over the world, so we'd love you to come and be part of our community too. I'll speak to you all on Monday. Cheers.